Well, welcome back. I'm uh, Dr. Kyle Roberts at Resultant, and uh, we want to just continue the series on using analytic apps. If you haven't seen part one, probably be helpful to go ahead and do that. Go into our YouTube page and uh, run part one because we're going to continue to build off of that. So what I want to do now is I want to talk about how do we add a, a date parameter in there as a, as a filter, and then how do we control that with analytic apps? I'm going to take this browse and just pull it out here and then go into my preparation tools, grab a filter, and I'll just kind of put it right in the middle there. And then now what we're going to add is a, since I have a date column here, I want to say the like date is greater than, and we'll just put today's date on there. And then if you watch when I run this, you'll see that our output here right now, it's currently set to that score is greater than three. And then date is greater than November 17th of 2022. And if we're looking at our data, that does make sense. So you can see the data over here or down here at the bottom. Um, and so kind of putting right in the middle between those uh, November 1st and September or in December 1st of 2022. And then there's all the scores and colors. OK, so now what I want to do is I want to control this inside the app. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to my interface tools and then pull in my date tool here. And I'm just going to pull it up, up high up here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a, you know, the question that needs to be displayed. So I'm going to put date is greater than and so now that will be the question that will be displayed and then just like we did with this tool we're going to actually from the sour glass we're going to or i mean the uh, uh magnifying glass we're going to drag down to or the cube glass however you want to think about that we're going to drag down into that lightning bolt there and you'll see that we have now our action tool uh that's in there so we're now with the action tool what we're going to do is we still want it to update a value uh, be simple and then operands, but the thing we want to update this time is that date right there. So 2022, 11, 17. Okay, go ahead and click on that replace specific training. And so this is kind of nice too, because if you want to just replace a month or just replace a year, we could actually, you know, get rid of some of those things. But we're going to replace the whole thing. And so now I'll click out of there. Now, when we run the app, so run as an analytic app, you will see that from left over before, we still have that score is greater than or equal to, but now we can have date is greater than or equal to. So I'll click on November 7th of 2022. And if I click finish, you already set up from previously that that's gonna display the output of that browse tool. Okay, so let me go ahead and hit okay. And we'll, we'll run it again. So we'll just do date is greater than, our score is greater than zero. And now we'll, we'll split those dates and we'll try that again. And you'll see that it only gives me the rows whose date is greater than November 7th, which is the date that we picked, okay? So that's an easy way to put in the, uh, the in this date control tool um, of our analytic app. And again, it's a build from the first one. We're gonna keep going with this. And so look for uh, part three uh, coming here pretty soon where we're actually going to, uh, uh, we're gonna actually give this information in a dropdown uh, so that the dropdown can then be selected. Okay, so thanks for joining us. Again, this is Dr. Kyle Roberts. Look for our YouTube page and please uh, subscribe and uh, like this video and we'll be sure to make more for you and uh, put it out there soon. Thanks for joining us.